this public speaking tip is about how to use movement properly in your presentation. Now there are a couple of good ways to use movement and there's one way that I don't recommend and that is to pace to relieve nervousness. That is one reason you do not want to use movement. Remember that anything unnecessary in your speech actually detracts from your speech. Let me tell you the two ways to use movement that can be effective. The first way is when you're speaking to a large audience. Let's say you're in a large hall with 200 people in it. Well, in that case, you can use movement to bond with the two sides of the audience. So first, I might move to the right and tilt my body to face this side of the room and connect with them that way. And then after some time, I might move to the left and connect with the audience on this side of the room. This is a very natural technique that creates bonding with the audience. So that's a time that it's good to use movement. Another time that it's good to use movement is when, you're ha when you have conversations and dialogue. So first, you might be in this position and you're speaking the conversation. And then you move to this position and you're the other person and you might change your voice a little bit to represent that you're another person in the conversation. Now this is a technique that can be overdone, so you wouldn't want to do it for a long conversation, but for a short one it can be effective. Those are two ways to use movement effectively, and I recommend that you give them a try in your next presentation.